Yo, what's up guys? It's Rettles and I am back with a kind of post-event regional vlog type slash video. Uh, Scum did them back in the day for COD. I love those. Maybe you guys will love these. Um, never done one of these before. So, uh, let me breathe a little bit. I'll probably ramble a ton, but in the background I'm going to have the final game for the NRG and phase series starting with the phase one. Just, just have in the background, but... I wanted to make this specifically just because Daniel's first event is a big deal for us and we exceeded our expectations and it's kind of just something I think I want to do after every event just like kind of sit down talk about it explain to you guys how it all went down what happened how we felt every series and yeah so I'll go ahead and start this but we'll start uh, with our with our scrims so the week before the tournament so going into this week Obviously, our, our team scrims three times a day, every day, for uh, just to, to get our, to our reps in. But we had decent scrims. You know, Daniel, all of us were super excited. You could tell. Da Daniel will never admit it, but he, he was a little nervous. And uh, it definitely, you could hear it in his voice for the group's comms. You guys heard it. As the series went on, he got less and less nervous. But you, you could tell. He was, he was giddy. He was like a little kid on Christmas. It was fun to play with. But... Yeah, we had decent scrims going in, and uh, going into our group stage, we had phase, which we knew was going to be a tough match. Um, we kind of knew that we were going to be like the third or fourth best team in that tournament, and getting phase was just an unlucky draw because we thought they were first. Obviously, energy winning in hindsight, they were probably first, but um, it was an unfortunate draw, and we only got phase because they were third seed from last season, we were sixth, just because of how we performed last split, even though we knew we weren't sixth, and we knew they weren't third either. But... What can you do sometimes? We start off with Rogue and Torrent. We play them first, 3 0 both of them. You guys saw the comms for that. Fun series. We didn't really feel challenged from those teams. They're going to be good. Don't get me wrong. We just played really well and they didn't have much of a chance. But Daniel didn't really understand. Like, he, he came in expecting to kill those teams and he did. He was like, this RLCS thing is easy. It is not easy, Daniel. We will lose to bad teams. We are going to lose to the bubble teams and like the semi-pro teams. It, it It's just bound to happen. But he didn't understand that yet. And he didn't really... He hadn't played a good team yet. So going into the phase series, which was the final one for our group, both our teams were 2-0. and So whoever won made it to the upper, or the upper side of the bracket and whoever lost made it to the lower. So it was a pretty big deal. But our whole thing with our first turn was like, all right, guys, first tournament... Let's go out there, have fun, place top eight, top six. You know, don't stress too much about the result. We're a new team. We're still getting better. Let's just have fun, keep ourselves in contention for the major, and let's win this. And I think keeping the pressure off of us by saying stuff like that and just like, have fun, have fun, let's have fun today. I think it really helped us, and it really helped Daniel, I think, because I think he was pretty nervous coming in. Um, he didn't show it with his play, but you could kind of just tell, like, in his tone and, like, the stuff he said, like... Okay, this kid's excited, and he is hungry to win. So we're in the phase series, we take it to five. Crazy comeback in game one, but we can't close it. And it's like, man, we had that series, dude. We AJ had a crazy dribble play in game three? Yeah, game three or four to win the game. Um, they AJ was playing great. They take us out in five and knock us down to the lower bracket. For how we played, I think getting knocked to the lower bracket was unfortunate. I think we were probably the third best team in groups, maybe even the second. Energy had a really rough group stage. Rough, they went 3-0 and and, you know, but they had RBG Vibrance and Exit and went to game five with Exit. It's not really that rough, but I just mean that we looked really good and it was kind of unfortunate we had FaZe, but we knew that and we were like, all right, in scrims, FaZe was the one team giving us a ton of trouble. NRG G2, everyone else we we're doing like pretty good against. So we're like, alright, we're gonna we're already top twelve right now. Get a pretty fortunate lowers run. Um like with the teams we played, our strength of schedule wasn't great. I'm not shit talking any of the teams we played, it was just you know, it could have been a lot harder. But we tech oh, we have Sonics in the first round. It's a pretty decent team. Uh any T Crow have the potential to pop off at any given moment. Two super mechanical players. 
Tikro more so mechanical, but Andy is super solid and in my eyes the best player on that team. Um, we take him out in four. Decent series, but right then we had locked top eight. And we were done for day one. So all those matches were on day one. And we were feeling pretty good. Uh, I felt like we played great in day one. I mean, that phase series seriously could have gone any way. We went to game five, they took it. I wasn't mad at it. It was, it was you know, Daniel's first debut day of our LCS. You can't really be mad about that. Those are three players that have played for years. So we go into day two. Uh, my team actually prepped super hard for our um, shop five match. I, I've had a bad sleep schedule for the last week and I've been falling asleep at like 8 p.m. every night. And I fell asleep before replays, but I came in, we scrimmed, they told me what to do. I was like, all right, I trust you guys. Coming for Shopify, a super demo heavy team. And we just, we annihilated them. We, we just, we played so aggressive to the point where they just could not keep up. And I mean, I even hit a musty flick. It might be right here in the video. Let's see if Beach can put it in. But yeah, Shopify, good team. I, I think they'll be, I think they're going to be a lock for top eight, top nine. They, they're, they're good. And after that, we had already clinched top, what, top six. So we already top six, we're like, if we get knocked over here, we can't be mad. You know, first tournament, if we lose here, we're still technically like in the major if it ended today, or we're tied for, for fifth. We're not mad about this. So we play Oxygen. We got a kind of nice luck of the draw. I mean, for how unlucky we did get with FaZe getting in our group, we got a little luck with Oxygen being our matchup because the other lower or other upper final was FaZe and V1, and we could have easily gotten one of those teams, and that would have been unfortunate. So we play Oxygen, take them out four to one. Notice n none of these bracket play matches have been very close. We've kind of been killing every team we've played. So we play Oxygen, good team. You know they they top their group with Envy and Complexity, and they can't be horrible. And we we four one them. It was a little closer than we like 4-1 kind of stands, you know, 4-1 didn't give much of a, that didn't give them as much respect as they deserved because they, they were a good team. But luckily that ends our day two run and we were feeling pretty good. Um, the guys were feeling great. I thought we had played better day one than we did day two against Oxygen and Shopify, but Rocket League's a game where you can seriously play different every day and you you can't stress about like how you play one day especially when you're still in the tournament you have you can just prove it or you can change it the next day so we come into day three same thing happens i fall asleep at 8 p.m wake up at like 4 a.m and teammates do replays a little irresponsible i know i'll fix that but they told me what to do i was like all right i'm on it we play v1 and this is a match that i was low-key stressing about we're already top four so i'm like all right if we get knocked out here i'm not mad but when you see your top four and you're playing a team like V1 that you feel like they're a great team. Do not get me wrong. I think they'll be in top five this season. But it's a team that you're like, we sh as long as we play well, we shouldn't lose to this team. And you're already thinking ahead. You're like, dang, like we could be top three. Like We put ourselves in such a good spot for the major. It was a pretty stressful match. And with how calm and Beastman have been playing, especially in the scrims, they were looking great. So I was like, okay, I'm a little stressed about this. We come in. We demo the mess out of this team. I think Beads will put the screenshot in right now. I think I averaged like five demos a game, four demos a game, but it was stupid. We had the craziest pressure that we've ever had against the team. And it was like, okay, we might actually be able to win this thing. Coming in, right before we played V1, NRG and FaZe played in the upper finals. FaZe loses that in seven, I think it was. Yeah, seven. So here it is, time for us to get our revenge on FaZe. I mean, Again, I've stated so many times, no bad blood, but it would feel great to knock this team out right here. Especially, we had scrimmed phase before the day started and there was like a little a little tension. Nothing too serious going on, but just like just a little beef. So the, the stakes were high, especially being the lower finals. Um, these regionals are so important for making the major. So getting second here would seriously, as long as we have thumbs for the next regionals, we, we lock ourselves in for the major. So we are at the point too, and especially Daniel too, because Daniel had high expectations. He's like, okay, top four. We're at the point we're already top three. We just play just to have fun. Like we're just sitting there like, okay, on paper, this seems better than us. Sure. We're not like individually, that team is better than us. Daniel, I think Daniel's better than all of them. But I think all of them are 
individually better than me in Arsenal, which is fair. I, I don't, I wouldn't blame anyone for saying that. But I think we, I don't think they do the dirty work as good as we do. I think me and Arsenal are great at playing for the team and playing for what the team needs. And FaZe doesn't have a player that's willing to sacrifice and do that. We take them out in six. I'm not going to lie. We dominated that entire series. We lost two games, but both the games we lost were just silly, stupid mistakes from us. They didn't earn a single game, and I, I don't mean that in a toxic way. I just mean we outplayed them the entire time. And that was, like, the best feeling. Because Sipa just left. I mean, don't blame him, but it's it's good to get a little friendly revenge. And that making top two with our first tournament, with how good Daniel was playing, was the best feeling in the world. Daniel was one of the best players in the world uh, this past weekend, and he, he proved it. Me and Arsenal always knew it. We just helped him show his potential by giving him space and demos and hyping him up as much as we could. Going into the energy series, which is currently in front of you, we were so tired. We, this, because we had played our V1 series and then no break played our phase series and then no break played our energy series. You guys could tell by, by how we were playing in game. We were exhausted. Not, I'm not take, trying to take away anything from energy. They played great. Um, but we were kind of at the point where like, dude, top two, we've been playing all day. Let's just, and I know I've said it every series, but let's just have fun, seriously. And that's exactly what we did. I mean, I know you, a lot of you guys saw it. We own gold three times in three games. And while I had the first two own goals, I feel like they weren't that bad. And then Arsenal seriously just drove the ball into our net. It's required as well. I mean, they have to find ways to work themselves into a position. What? Oh, Are you no! kidding? This is a catastrophe. Okay, wait. Okay, so is it, here's, is Ars it? here's Arsenal's camera. He's rotating back. Cool. Justin, easy. Oh. oh my gosh. And we were crying. It was it was hilarious. I, I won't lie. Dan you couldn't see Daniel's webcam, but you'll see in the comms video. It, it, was, it was a good moment. And I think one thing that definitely changed with picking up Daniel is that we can have, like, I love Sip, and he, he knew how to have a good time, but we shake things off a lot faster with Daniel. Like we were kind of like, okay, that was really bad. Okay, I'm back left, let's go, we got this. It's a great mentality to have. I think this kid is gonna kick some ass and I hope he does it with us, you know. We have, I mean, we'll have this major, next major in Worlds with him at least. So I'm gonna do my best to, uh, to impress this kid and keep him on the roster, but that is my post regional one vlog. Let me know if you guys like stuff like this. If you don't, I can just crank out another twos video. I just wanted to try something different because I know I loved watching these when I was a fan of COD. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Actually, you should be watching this on the 18th, which is Tuesday. Tomorrow, we'll actually start the bracket comms video. So that should be Shopify, Sonics, and Oxygen. And then Friday, you will get the phase and energy comms. I think both those videos should do great. Our comms were hilarious, especially in the phase series with all Daniel zero second goals. You guys will enjoy a lot. So thank you guys for continued support. The channel's been doing insane recently. So always grateful for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.